Hello brothers and sisters of YouTube, Heather here. Here's a video I never thought I would make. Um, I don't like thinking about this and I don't like talking about it. And I almost never do think about it, but it's something that happened to me and I felt impressed uh, probably three or four times over the past week to talk about this. So I guess someone out there needs to hear it. Um, when I was in college, I lived in a house my first year with about 14 to 16 other girls at a time. It was just a large home that someone had purchased and rented out um, at low cost. It was an older home to a lot of girls and we would share rooms. Um, I shared a room with a gal in the basement, um, one of the basement bedrooms, and she was gone one day and I came home and I tromped downstairs to put my stuff away um, after classes and I had a, posted a picture of my family on a pin board outside my bedroom door um, and someone, one of my roommates presumably, had taken a pin and scratched my face out of the picture. That doesn't seem like it would be that big of a deal, like yeah that's kind of annoying or hurtful, but for whatever reason my emotional state that day that was like really surprisingly um, hurtful to me and for reasons I won't get into um, my family does have some strained relationships and I did feel in some ways um, a little bit different from my family and um, that was so much more hurtful than that person could possibly have imagined I'm sure whatever I did to offend her or make her feel annoyed with me she cut me deep and um, I didn't know who it was. I didn't really care. What that wasn't it wasn't about that. It was about um me focusing on my family, focusing on some things that were painful. Um I I just I couldn't handle it that day. I couldn't handle that little thing that happened as small as it was. And I went into my room and my roommate like I said wasn't there. She was gone all day actually. Um, I didn't leave my room for the rest of the day, and um, I must have been really depressed. I don't remember time passing or what I did. I just remember feeling really, really upset. And um, kind of later at night, probably around 11, uh, I got this impression that I should kill myself. This is not something that I would normally think of doing. I, I was depressed throughout high school. Um, off and on and I, I dealt with it the best I could and I went about my life um, this wasn't like my normal depression I didn't get suicidal like this where I would think about specific ways to end it that was not normal for me so um, I had specific impressions um, someone was impressing this on my mind and I'm not gonna say it was angelic because it was not Although at the time I did not realize um, I was being manipulated or, or kind of influenced um, by something demonic. But um, I was told in my mind um, that it would be a good idea to smash the mirror above our dresser and slit my wrists with it. And I considered it. And... I just thought about all the pain that would end if I, 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 when you're suicidal like that, you're not thinking about the future. You're not thinking about people that will be hurt by what you're doing. You just want the pain to end. And this was so, looking back on it, so demonic because I would not do that. That wasn't me thinking these things and that wasn't me considering it. it I mean, it was just, it was kind of bizarre and, and um, unusual, but I didn't want to die. And, um... I feel like it was like a cheap shot from the devil. Like he was just trying to see if he could get me to do it because he didn't want me to live. He probably knew that I had a pretty great future and he wanted me to end it at this lowest point in my life where it would be the most possible for me to consider doing something so destructive to myself like that. But I, um, I, I was kind of pressed upon. My body felt really heavy. I felt like I didn't have any energy and I could barely move and I was just lying on the floor. As soon as I decided I wasn't going to do it, um, I couldn't move. And I, with great effort over the course of the next hour, I um, 
oh my gosh, I crawled across my room and somehow reached up far enough to open my door and push that open and crawl into the hallway and probably around one in the morning I made it to my um, across the hallway neighbor and knocked on her door and it wasn't very loud I knocked for a long time because I didn't have the energy to do it I couldn't barely do it I knocked on her door um, until she woke up um, and the ironic thing is I think that that's the person that scratched my picture out of my family photo um, but it didn't matter. It didn't matter. I needed help and she was the closest person and I knew she would help me. Um, petty little differences aside. Um, so she woke up and I explained to her what was happening, um, in like a really small voice and she had to get close to me so that she could hear what I was saying. And I, I just said, I feel like I'm going to kill myself and I need help. Um, call our home teachers. So a home teacher in, uh, the LDS religion, Mormonism, um, is like two men assigned to a family, or in this case, an apartment. Um, actually, we had so many girls, we might have had several, but my home teacher lived next door in a different apartment complex that was just for men. Um, and I actually had two home teachers that were roommates. So my roommate called them in the middle of the night, and they put on their church clothes, their nice suits, and they came over I don't know if it was like 3 a.m. by then. Um, they came in the middle of the night and they dressed up just for me. They um, they came to our front room. I was able to make it upstairs. And um, I sat down and I was shaking so hard, like uncontrollably, just shaking. Like I was so um, disturbed. Something was going on with me. I felt so disturbed. Um, and in our religion, to get a special blessing of healing or protection, um, of comfort, the men lay their hands on your head, um, and pronounce blessings upon you f from God through them, through the, um, power of the priesthood. So they laid their hands on my head and they started to pray. And as soon as they did, it was like starting at the top of my head and then moving all the way down my body, I could feel calmness and the shaking immediately ceased and I felt ready for bed. I felt tired. I felt kind of drained, but also really, really happy that it was over. Whatever was attacking me was gone and I did not want to kill myself anymore. Um, I felt like my normal self again. Um, I thanked my home teachers and they went home. Uh, I thanked my roommate and we all went back to bed and that was that. And ever since then, I've never really thought a lot about it, but the more I learn about spiritual, um, the reality of the spiritual realm, um, how much it actually influences us day to day, the more I learn about angels and demons the more that story rings true to me, the more that that experience seems relevant um, and understandable. We are living among beings that want to help us and beings that want to hurt us. And in this case, I was attacked with a very strong attack by some servant of the devil and the power of God was able to call off that attack and that is a small part but a very real part of my testimony of um, the power of God and his ability to protect us to heal us um, like I said I don't know why I'm talking about this today I'm kind of ashamed that that happened to me that I ever would have been in a weak enough state that I would have considered killing myself that's so crazy but at the same time I know a lot of people that have considered doing that and I just think we live in a world today where 
that does happen to a lot of people. And it's not necessarily that person that is just like going through a lot of pain and they want to end it. I think it has a lot to do with Satan attacking us. And if you're having feelings of extreme depression and you want to hurt yourself or someone else, it might not be because you have a mental illness. It might not be any sort of a chemical imbalance in your body or something physical. It might be a spiritual attack, as I felt mine really was. Um, and so it's not really something to be ashamed of because that wasn't my goal. That, those weren't my desires. Those weren't my thoughts. At the same time, those things did happen to me, and it does feel like part of my story now. I don't really own it as something that I did, um, but I do keep it in my mind as something to be aware of, that I will never allow myself to get in a situation like that again, where if I am feeling really terrible, I pray, and I spend time with people that I love, and I think about things that I'm grateful for, and those things do help. And sometimes you're going to be attacked and it's not anything to do with you. It is just you're in a situation where you're vulnerable and weak or you're tired and you just need to have a break. That's when the adversary attacks. He attacks when it's most likely that he can succeed. So I just want to leave that with you today. That strange, sad story but also a really heroic story because people came to my rescue. Other people came to my rescue. People with faith, people with um, clean hands that could enact the grace of God for me on my behalf. I'm grateful for those men. I don't know where they are today, but I sure am grateful for them for helping me out that day. I felt loved. I felt loved by them. I felt respected by them. And I felt respected and loved by my Heavenly Father. And... So I guess in that way, I look back on that as sort of like a sad and happy memory. Um, anyway, that's it for today. That's a, that's enough for today. I hope, I hope you don't think that's too weird. Um, but I, I think that there are probably some people out there that have had similar experiences that this will resonate with them. And um, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear it in the comments section if you have something to share. Um, I'm fascinated by it. I'm fascinated by the spiritual world and and um, how it affects us. So share if you like. And um, I hope you guys have a great day. God bless.